you stay with athletics in Nigeria? This time, I want to talk about former national athletes for uh, the country. Gloria Kemasode, she was in the news two weeks ago. Um, there were talks that she was seen roaming the streets of Yanagua in Bayosa State, and um, she wasn't looking so good. But the media, for instance, this is a story, Alfred, talking about Gloria Kemasode, who, by the way, is a former uh, Nigerian sprinter. Um, and that's the picture of Franca Idoko Isaac. Franca is in Germany. She's in Duisburg in Germany. And she started getting calls. And so one way or the other, the authorities in Germany got to find out. So this is what we're talking about, responsible press. And knowing what you're doing out there. So the pictures of Franca was everywhere. Let me show you this other picture. So you see Gloria came out today, and then you see Franca Idoko Isaac. That's the difference right there. Franca on the left, Gloria on the right. They were teammates at the Beijing 2008 Olympics uh, for the relay team. But, Alfred, you're in the media. That's what we're talking about. So now, I can understand, I'm just trying to understand what Franca is going through right now. Not just Franca, even her family. Sometimes, um, sometimes these errors have been in, in press. When it comes to tagging of photographs, so you do not know these people. And a picture just shows us, always look at it, that's the person. And uh, not huh. the incalculable damage done to, to that person by flying that picture. Because what it means now is that, especially when the, uh, the host country sees it, it will, like, it will be like, hey, what are you trying to do? What is the meaning of this? And I think um, this age of social media has not helped in any way. Uh, I mean, there's no gatekeeping process. No, nobody is. No, no, there's no gatekeeper. No, 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 there's no uh, gatekeeper. It's a question of um, it's a question of who wants who breaks it first. Uh, this uh, theory looks. We're looking for the heat. And you know, it's, it's funny yeah. because related search. Yeah. If they put Austin and Alfred in a story, mm. and Austin's picture is available online, you type for Alfred Okoligwe, Austin will pop, Austin up. pop up. So it's for you to research and be sure. That that's the picture. That, that's the Let's go to Duisburg. Let's go to Duisburg in Germany. Former uh, national sprinter, uh, Franka Idoko Isaac joins us live on the show. Uh, Franka, you need to smile for me. Good evening. Welcome to Sports Tonight. <laughs> Hi, Austin. How are I'm, you doing? I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm just trying to understand what you've been through with all of this mistaken identity going on. Hello, Franka. Uh, hi, I can hear you. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just trying to understand what you've been through with all of this issue of mistaken identity that is going on with your photograph. Well, first of all, I would like to say um, I sympathize with Gloria and her family. It's so sad. Her mental health is so sad, and I sympathize with them, and I just hope she gets all the help that she needs and come back on her feet. Awesome. For me, it was so devastating and embarrassing. I didn't know my picture was trending on social media. Um, on social media as a mental derailed person. I never knew I was living my life here in Germany. I didn't know people are seeing me on the street as a mental derailed person. Calls were coming in from friends, from fans, and from family. It was so, so embarrassing. Mm. The one that really got me devastating was a call from my younger sister. She didn't call me. She had to call my husband to be sure if everything was okay with me. And my husband tell her why, she's fine, she's here, you want to talk to her? And then she told me I have to talk to my mom. Then some people came to the house with photos of me roaming the street. And my mom, she fainted. Oh. She fainted and was taken to the hospital. It was like I spoke to her some weeks ago, what happened? You know, so she was taken to the hospital, she stayed there for some days, and it was not easy for her. For me also, it's not easy. Austin, I have gone through a lot here in Germany. Oh. I barely go out. You know, my family and I, we are so sad. It's so devastating. It's so embarrassing. It has not been easy for me else. And I don't know how to put it, this feeling, you know. I know I feel sad for Gloria. But for me also now, it's not even, people hear the name Gloria, but they see me. It's who you see, you know, as a mad person. They are not seeing Gloria's face. They are seeing my face. It's so devastating. It was trending on social media and some TV stations. You can imagine on national TV on Nigeria. It's so embarrassing. I think they should learn to get their story straight. They should get their story straight and make investigation before you publish things online and on TV. Okay. It's so 
I feel I, very, very sad. I know how you I know I know how you feel, Frank. That's just why I was setting the record straight. I just hope that Please. um this I'm sure they're seeing you now. You left the country and so many persons say, Where's our champ? So I, I just hope that this will end. That's why I said, let me bring you on live TV so Pistons will get to see you. And I hope that some of those guys will pull down those stories. We'll also pray for Gloria Please. that she Please. gets better. So don't worry. I think everything is going to be all right. But, but Franka, let, let's talk about, come on, champ. Let's talk about the action. Um, you, you, you've done everything you can for athletics in Nigeria, and now you're chilling in Germany. But what, what's going on? What do you hear about athletics in Nigeria? Well, get ready for the African Games. Yeah, I know, in Morocco. <laughs> uh, African Games is on, but it's so unfortunate. Nigeria is not prepared. <laughs> Nigeria is not prepared, I'm sorry to say. Right now, I'm not in the like, um, best frame of mind to talk much about athletics, you know. But I can say a few. Nigeria is not prepared. They don't take care of their athletes. All the athletes need is proper preparation. They need good welfare. Nigerians believe in fire brigade approach. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work so. They need to like take care of the athletes, pay them grants. These, these athletes need money because they pay bills abroad. Even the ones at home, they need to take care of themselves. They need to pay transport to the, they need money. Athletes need money. That's all I can say. Nigeria should, the government know what to do. During our time, we got training grants. Yeah, we got training grants. Though maybe not what we're supposed to get because it was, I can say it's peanuts. But then at least we got peanuts. But this time around, they're not even giving them anything again. It's so sad, you know. Nigeria needs to really take care of the athletes. The athletes are in good shape this year. They need to invest in them. Invest in these athletes and we will be competing with Jamaica and um, USA. It's not easy. These wow. athletes need money to take care of themselves wherever they are. I agree. Franca, I must say thank you so much, and I'm glad you're smiling. Don't worry, everything is going to be all right. Thank you so much for speaking Please. to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it.